All right, just a quick video refuting the cultic Catholic heresy of apostolic succession, okay? Because this is what they try to claim to legitimize their control over their people. Well, we have apostolic succession and the popes are directly descended from the apostles. Well, I'm going to show you from scripture that that's complete, utter hogwash. It's just a bunch of hot air. And you see, if Roman Catholics were to read the Bible themselves, they would know that. See, the scriptures refute Roman Catholicism. When a Catholic reads the word of God, they're no longer a Catholic. Hence why I did my video about how they destroy translations of the Word of God. Most there there have been there was a time where Catholics, a lot of them in some countries didn't know the Bible even exists. But the scriptures, if you read the scriptures, you're no longer a Catholic. That's just how it goes. So here are the scriptures that refute this Catholic this uh, cultic Catholic doctrine of apostolic succession. So first of all, apostolic succession is refuted by the simple fact that Paul rebuked the Corinthians for saying they were of Paul or of Cephas. Because apostolic succession, it's just basically exalting a man. That's all that it is. Roman Catholicism is a completely man-centered, man-exalting religion. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 7. And I, brethren, cannot speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. For I fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to, to uh, bear it. Neither yet now are ye able, for ye are yet carnal. For whereas... Uh, there is among you envying and strife and divisions. Are you not carnal and walk as men? For one saith, uh, sir, sir, for while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos. Are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Sorry, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Not true in Roman Catholicism, because the Pope, whatever the Pope says is the, is the standard. They don't even believe the word of God. If the Pope says something contrary to the scriptures, they believe the Pope. It's not God giving the increase, it's the Pope usurping the authority of Christ over the church. That's why the office of the Pope is blasphemous. They steal God's titles and give it to themselves. They're, not, they're nothing more. See, they claim to be the vicar of Christ. Which Christ? They're the vicar of the Antichrist. That's the Christ they're the vicar of. And they're nothing more than a usurper of the authority of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 10, or sorry, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10 to 13. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, uh, by them which are of the house of Clo, I think that's how you say that. Not, not good at reading on a computer. Uh, there are contentions, so that there are contentions among you. Now this I say that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I am of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? You could apply it to Rome. Hey, was the Pope crucified for you? Well, he offers up Jesus Christ every, every week in their blasphemous occult ritual known as the Mass. You know, baptized in the name of Paul. Well, again, you know, they, they think they think you're baptized into salvation in Roman Catholicism. Again, baptismal regeneration. I'm not going to go on a whole rabbit trail, but it's it's heresy because you know it basically puts your salvation in the hands of a man. Because because what happens if that guy doesn't want to baptize you? Well, I guess you can't be saved until somebody does. See, it rips salvation out of the hand of God and puts it under the control of the priest on whether or not he decides to baptize you. He could just say, "I'm not going to baptize you." So you've had faith, you've put your faith in the gospel, you've trust Jesus Christ, his sacrifice, but because that priest won't baptize you, you're now, you can't be saved. Your salvation is being withheld until somebody does. So you put your salvation completely in the hands of a man. And this idea of apostolic succession is no different. Apostolic succession is a man exalting, man-centered, and it gives man the power over your salvation. But the scriptures clearly show otherwise. The Apostle Paul also clearly said the saint is not of men, like Paul or Cephas, but rather they are of Christ. That's what he's clearly making out there. He's exalting Christ above himself. Not like the Pope where you have to bow down before him and kiss his pinky, your little pinky finger. I wouldn't bow down before him. You know, I would, I would spit on him. That's what I would do. A little blasphemous devil usurping the authority of Christ. First of all, or sorry, second of all, Paul says not to glory in men. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 21 to 23. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the word of sorry the word so the or of the world of life or death or things present or things that come all are yours and ye are Christ Christ and Christ is God's again it's exalting Jesus Christ my salvation's in the hand of God not in the hands of some blasphemous pope or priest 
who think they're Jesus Christ, by the way, according to the Catechism. According to the Catechism, the priest is another Christ. I've shown that in other videos. What are they, the, the, the uh, I forget what they call it. It's, it's Vicarious Philly D or something like that. It's like the substitute son of God. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't remember the exact Latin term, but they believe they are another Christ. I've shown that in my other videos about on that subject. Uh, also, another point is that apostolic succession will be building upon another man's foundation. Romans 15, 20. Yea, so I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ is name, was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. That's what apostolic succession does. They're, they're thinking they're building upon the foundation of the apostles. The reality is the apostles refuted Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic doctrine. I did two videos called the uh, Apostolic Church versus the Catholic Church, and showing how the apostles taught against Roman Catholic doctrine. Final point is that the saint is to go to God for wisdom, not popes or priests who think they are God. James 1.5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Pope and, and the Holy Father who runs the Catholic Church. No, it doesn't say that. If anyone, any, sorry, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. You know, the Holy Ghost is that spirit of truth that guides you into all truth. John 16.13, John 14.20, uh, I believe it is. You know, First John chapter 2 has got some verses on that. The Holy Ghost is what guides you into all truth, but not under Roman Catholicism because they control you. They're a cult. And, and apostolic succession is how one of the ways they get you thinking that you got to go to the Pope. you got to go to the priest. Don't go to the Word of God, because after all, they a lot of them think it doesn't even exist. They don't know the, the Bible even exists. You don't go to the priest. Sorry, you go to the priest instead of going to the Word of God. That's how they control you. Because if you read the Word of God, you're not a Catholic. And you see that apostolic succession is no scriptural basis whatsoever. Plain and simple. Just like all the other Catholic doctrines like purgatory or this, this blasphemous re-sacrificing of Christ every Sunday or calling the priest Holy Father, calling the Pope Holy Father. The only time that appears is John 17 verse 11 and it's referring to God, not some, not some, not not a man. Anyway, I could go on about that. Roman Catholicism definitely fulfills Revelation 17 where it talks about names of blasphemy, full of names of blasphemy. Absolutely, Roman Catholicism is a blasphemous false religion. And apostolic succession is one of the, the many false doctrines they've concocted from, basically from, from Satan, that Satan has given them so they can control their people. And they have done so. Plain and simple. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.